This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reggie Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 from the Think Tech Studios in the beautiful downtown Honolulu in the uh, Pioneer Plaza. Uh, and today it's not raining. We've had a, a few days and a weekend of rain over here so things are drying out and it's very appropriate for today's topic because everything is green and looking good. So we're gonna talk a little bit about a successful company in Hawaii, which is the theme of the show. We talk about successful companies and individuals and how they've overcome some of the challenges of doing business here in Hawaii. So today we have a company called Plant Hawaii and we've got the owner, Caro Wilson, and her grower, and I didn't know that there was a title like that, but there is, <laughs> uh, but it's uh, Molly Harlings. Herrings. Herrings. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and she's the grower, so she's the one that makes all these things happen. Uh, we were kind of joking earlier, I have a couple brown thumbs, so I'm not going to be qualified for the job, but she can do a great job at this, and particularly with all the rain that we've had the last few days, things are looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the show, to both of you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having uh, us. Thanks for having so, us. Good. Now you're over in Waimanalo, so you had to come way over that mountain to come over here to downtown Honolulu. Very long way. Yeah, it is, <laughs> yeah. But you found it, and we're so glad to have you here today. Thank you. Um, but tell me a little bit about yourselves before we go into the company. Um, Carol, you're the owner of the company. Uh, is this what you set out to do as a little girl, or, or is, <laughs> how did this all come about? What, what's um, your background? How long have you been in Hawaii? Well, I have personally been here for 22 years. Um, my husband, Scott Wilson, uh, is a local boy, born and raised here, um, went to Kamehameha. Um, then we actually have partners. Um, who are Natalie and Blake PK, and um, we're just very blessed by this partnership that we have. Um, my husband and I, we definitely did not think we'd end up like this. Um, he has a design background, went to school for design. I had more of a social work background, um, but we did both kind of end up um, in entrepreneurship in a sense. I, I had a child care for a while, then a cleaning business. My husband went from uh, design to landscape design and then to Tropical Garden Accents, which was a popular place in Waimanalo where you could buy pottery and so forth. And, and then we got an opportunity nice. to buy this farm. And, and prior to Hawaii, you were in Colombia? I'm Colombian originally from South America, mm. and uh, our family moved us to uh, Miami for a while before I ended up here. Oh, well, but you like the warm weather. I do. <laughs> That's I don't good. go anywhere but I, warm. <laughs> I was born in Jersey, and I hate the Ooh, cold weather, yeah, so no, it's, it's so good to be here. I grew up in Florida and, and okay. now here. So, okay, so great. So you came around, and then you met your husband, and you had, this isn't your first gig. You've had a couple before, sure. which isn't unusual. A lot of entrepreneurs or yeah. small business uh, owners go through that. They, they got to try some things and see what works, and then finally they hit it, and all of a sudden, it all starts to click. That's right. You know, and so you're here. Um, did you have to go through any education or training to get into this business, or, <coughs> or how did that work? Well, the the farm we have, Plant Hawaii, located in Waimanalo, is a three-acre farm. It was a prior uh, um, an orchid farm mm -hmm. for like 35 years, so it already had its bones. And the previous owner had done a magnificent job at really doing good things with it. So. Uh, once he gave us the opportunity to buy the lease, because it is leasehold, um, then we got the opportunity to, okay, what are we going to do with, with, uh, with what we got? And we went from there. There was some trial and error. We did um, do some uh, hydroponic lettuce, for example, um, but that didn't work out. And now we're in a, like in a good trajectory of exactly what we want. Um, also, we hired amazing people like Molly. I mean, she really is so good. She's a grower. She's educated. She knows what she's doing. Uh, we have an assistant grower named Slade. He's also kind of elevating this business to the next level. While my husband and I work behind the scenes uh, with weddings events, our partners keep us legal. But as a business owner, please make sure you are and make sure your taxes are all done and all that good stuff. It's always nice to be compliant. And That's legal. right. That's right. Yeah. Don't mess with that. Mm -hmm. Right. So now, Molly, you got involved how long ago? About four months. Four months ago. Yeah. And, and were you in Hawaii all this time or did you come from somewhere else? Yeah, I've been in Hawaii about a year and a half and 
prior to that, so I have a background from the University of Wisconsin River Falls, and I studied there in the last year of my, uh, I have a biology major, and so the last year my advisor asked me, he's like, plants or animals? And I said, well, okay, we'll go with the plants then on that one. So he switched me over to a different advisor and uh, started off from there. So I did an internship in Denver, uh, learned about wholesale greenhouse growing there, and moved out to Maryland where I... Now these are all cold places. So <laughs> you, you, you're yes. used to the cold weather, but you finally found your way to someplace a little bit warmer. I did, yeah. So I did eight years in Maryland and then wow. uh, just decided I wanted something new and came out here to Hawaii. Very good. You know, it's amazing how many people do that. And it's nice that you landed on your feet and things are working for you. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Definitely. So you've been here a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And you got hired, I guess, uh, by Plant Hawaii. Uh, and then you just kind of hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Yep. Very good. Now, tell me, once you're there, now Waimanalo, everybody in Hawaii knows about Waimanalo, but very fertile ground, isn't it? I yeah. mean, it's it's very good place to grow plants. Just about anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I need to ask a question. <laughs> There's been an awful lot of talk recently about some of the medical marijuana stuff. Sure. Um, is that something you're planning on getting into, or what's, what's the rules on that? So um, Department of Agriculture rules, uh, state rules, you cannot grow cannabis on any state land. You do have to, oh, no, any state-owned land. You have to privately own the land mm -hmm. in order to grow the cannabis. There's a misconception about that. So it's got to be fee simple. Absolutely. You can't have a leasehold and grow cannabis on it, not yet. And so for now, it isn't anything that um, that we're even it's thinking not about. in the business plan. Not, a, not for now. <laughs> I mean, I would love to help with medical marijuana in some way or form, but um, it really is a privately owned uh, endeavor. But you're you're doing pretty good without it. We know? love what we so, do, absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. you've got a, a pretty good selection of plants, and, yes. and you seem to have some passion for it. Um, now, you, you've you got the biology background in the plant side of things, mm -hmm. um, so that gives you some pretty good credentials to get into this. Um, and you're just doing this from like on the job training. So it's, I mean, you, you've got different ways of being right. successful at this. Yeah, you do. You, you have to be a little well rounded in different areas to make it work. I can't do what Molly does, but, um, you know, I definitely help with the, all the other parts. So, right. A, and, but that's part of being an entrepreneur is that you've got to be flexible. You've got to go where you've got to, you know, contribute and, and work. And, but you can't do it all yourself, and so you got to bring good people Absolutely. in that can help you. Yeah. You know, and that's a, a, an area that sometimes people don't appreciate as much as they should. Right. You know, um, we kind of joke about it that if you keep hiring people with your own skill sets and, and in your own image, one of you is redundant. You don't need both of them. You need right. different skill sets and, and different you know, diversity and background and experience. Yes. That's good. So um, was there any challenges that you had setting up the business plant Hawaii and getting it started? Oh, absolutely. Imagine going into three acres, ten greenhouses, and trying to keep up with it with pretty um, small team of people that aren't super experienced. So we had mm. that challenge. Um, then it was a challenge of, okay, we want to build this business. Uh, we're going to have to figure out what actually makes money, to be perfectly honest while also kind of honoring the self-sustainability that we wanted to do, and, and um, that was a challenge. Any particular licensing or permitting that you had to go through to, to get this uh, kind of company going? Well, you do have to become a bona fide farmer okay. in order to continue, and um, there are lots of um, very specific things that you have to get licensed for that, for example, Molly would have. Uh, for spraying, for... Mm -hmm. I got my mm. private pesticide application license right yeah. now. There, there is applications that I couldn't do, that it would have to be somebody who's... Somebody uh, specifically licensed very to much do so. it. Yeah, so there is those qualifications. Um, beyond that, as a business owner, as you know, it's trial and error and cutting things that don't work, which can be a hard and decision. as soon as you can. As soon as you can, and then reinvesting your money so that you can get more product and get to the next place. And then figuring out a niche that um, you can sustain. Well, that's true. I mean, every business has to have their little niche, their little area of specialization mm -hmm. that they can kind that's of call right. their own. That becomes part of their brand. Mm -hmm. Now, as a child growing up in Florida, one of my duties was to weed the garden. 
Now, I can't imagine three acres <laughs> in Waimanalo and very fertile ground with a lot of rain coming. Mm -hmm. I mean, the weeds, that's got to be an ongoing, constant maintenance ongoing. process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, and they grow quick, too, out there, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we do gravel and we do, you know, some black top here and there. I mean, you do have you to try to control it. You mm -hmm. have to try to control it in every way possible. And now, does it? Can you grow the plants out of the soil? I mean, we talked a little bit about that, and so maybe does that eliminate? I'll let some Molly of the tell weeds? you a little of the sure. combination we do for growing. Okay, sure. Yeah, a lot of times when you grow in the ground, it's more your stock plants. When you're going to take cuttings from the plant and plant up a whole bunch for your own sale of the plants. Usually that's what you plant in the ground for weed maintenance too and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And then when you get it into the containers, that's when you actually just start producing it and can actually maintain it, fertilize it, uh, manipulate greens. how fast it grows. Mm -hmm. And I guess part of the, is one of the requirements to, to get it out of the soil and get it into the, it's got to have some roots and some mm -hmm. foundation to grow mm -hmm. from. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. A lot of times you can take them already, you can buy them in already rooted or you mm -hmm. can propagate them and make your own. Mm -hmm. Right, and then when you take them out of the ground, there, is there a special fertilization or food that is put into the plants that continue for it mm -hmm. to grow? Yes, yes, yeah. of course. And is that, do you have to be licensed for that? Is it a chemical-based thing? or No, more yeah. of a knowledge based what the plant needs, when it needs it, how often yeah. it needs it. Wow. We, we saw a, a tremendous improvement in, for example, hiring Molly. Just her knowledge improve the health of the plants immediately. So, you know, that that is important is to definitely have somebody who knows what they're doing, like well, you yeah. said, in, in a position that it needs to be in, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And I would imagine that, you know, you have the right person in the right place with the right knowledge, that can have a direct impact on sales and, and health. You don't have as much waste. Exactly. You know, it's, a, it's an important part of the, the company. Yes. Very good. Um, we're going to take a, a short break here in a, in a minute, and then we're going to be gone for a minute, and then we're going to come back, and I want to dig into the details or the roots, if you will, <laughs> of the company, uh, and, and take a look at the website a little bit okay. and, and talk about the different products and, and some of the different services that you offer. Uh, but um, We're going to be gone for just one minute. This is uh, Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here with Plant Hawaii with the owner and the grower. And we're going to be coming back in about one minute to talk more about the company. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Aloha. I'm your longtime host, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, for Sister Power. Think Tech is important to our community because it, it motivates, it empowers, it educates all people. For the first time, Think Tech Hawaii is participating in an online web-based fundraising campaign to raise $40,000. Give thanks to Think Tech, where we're only during the month of November, and you can help. Please donate what you can so that Think Tech Hawaii can continue to raise public awareness and promote civic engagement through free programming like mine. I've already made my donation and look forward to yours. Please send in your tax-deductible contribution by going to this website, think, thanksforthinktech.causevox.com. On behalf of the community enriched by Think Tech Hawaii's 30-plus weekly shows, thank you for your generosity. Welcome back. This is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here this week talking with Plant Hawaii. Uh, they're a, a growing firm that's growing all kinds of different plants in Waimanalo, uh, which you would think is very easy, but there's a lot of science to it. And it's, you gotta be educated to understand how all of this works. Uh, but it is a growing business and it's getting bigger. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the details of Plant Hawaii right now. Uh, Carol, you've... Um, what is your product line? Talk a little bit about what it is exactly that you guys do. Sure. Um, well, we do a couple of combinations. We have a retail and wholesale component. Um, we have an interior scaping component, and I'll explain to you what that is. Good. But um, basically for the retail, we are able to um, 
open in our farm from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. We have a cool little garden center mm -hmm. in one of our enclosed greenhouses. Um, it's really magical. It's beautiful there. We're up against the Koalows. Mountains are there. We have a I've little waiting I've seen pictures area. of it on the website. Yeah. It looks really neat. It's neat. Mm -hmm. And then it gives you an opportunity to uh, speak with us about uh, kind of consulting with us about, okay, what is it that you want to do inside or outside your house? Uh, we do classes. I'll do an on-the-spot class on how to up-pot your orchids oh. or so forth. Um, we, Are there scheduled classes that people can sign up for? We will have that in the future, and that will always be on our website. Uh, we want to partner up with uh, other businesses around us to do sure. that. Yeah. Um, for now, we definitely do on-the-spot classes, no problem. Um, and so we have that retail component on the farm component. Then we also uh, provide like rotations for hotels, for their rooms, mm. for their um, lobbies. For their lobbies. Mm -hmm. um, Do you have staff that goes out and switch them out? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, wow. very much so. And um, it's a once a month rotation. It's a pretty easy program for any hotel who would like live, beautiful plants in their um, in their yeah. residences, wherever they would want to. Well, they're a lot better than those plastic or silk ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Most so we have definitely. those two components. Um, then we also have kind of new-ish, but we are also a full wedding and events uh, provider. We have our own florist, uh, the wonderful Anna Cassie. She's amazing. Um, and our website will show a lot of that. And we do Right, but you don't everything. do weddings. You just provide the floral right. arrangements yes. for the weddings. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Uh, we don't do them at our place. Uh, but we definitely service your wedding, deliver everything, set it all up. Um, what and about then, funerals? I know we're going from we one decided not to, to the other. We decided not to for now because that is very involved. And it, it definitely requires a certain skill set that you then have to develop. And mm. we want to be respectful of that process. So it's a different product. It, it really is. It really is. Seat. So so we decided let's stick to something and perfect it. And and Molly can tell you a little more about like our variety, which is that's what's exciting for us. So Sure. Yeah. Right, yeah. So you got a whole bunch of different types of plants out yes. there. Yes. Uh, orchids first and foremost. So we have Vandas and Phalaenopsis, which is the butterfly orchid a lot that you see in the stores. Um, which is right behind you. No, I was just going to ask. <laughs> what, is that something, something like what we have That's here? That's a Phalaenopsis. Okay. That's a Phalaenopsis. Yeah, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then the hibiscus? Yes. Yes. Now, hibiscus I see a lot. I've mm -hmm. got some of these in my front yard. Awesome. I've never been able to do those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hibiscus is relatively new. Um, well, for myself in general. Um, we grow about 42 different hybrid varieties, wow. which you have your commons, of course, which you see a lot, but ours are dinner plate size, double whorls. Uh, the mm. color variation in them is just outstanding. Uh, Do you, can you influence the color at all by, you know, the food that you provide, or is it just Not kind of those. natural to the plant? Yes, for them. There's only one type, really, the Snow Queen, which if you give it too much bird, it re reverts from a variegated leaf just to a solid green leaf, but mm. as for the color and the flower itself, no. I'm that. pretending to know what you're saying, you know. But <laughs> well, you know, we're very blessed. Um, our, our auntie is uh, the hibiscus lady. She's very popular, um, Auntie Jill. And she actually makes them from seed, and she's able to combine seeds and make her own combinations, and she's like mm -hmm. our mentor. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're very blessed by having that as kind of an example for for the hibiscus. Are you writing all of this down for prosperity? You have because to, it's some, so involved. Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> some of this goes from generation to generation, That's what we're but hoping. if we want to keep it going, we got to have some record of it. That's yes. right, absolutely, yeah. yeah very and good. so those are the components we have. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, we I do have a question while sure. you're thinking about that. I, I notice some of these types of, you know, and I see this around. And in Florida, we have a lot of moss. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I've seen it around Hawaii, too, in different uh -huh. places. Mm -hmm. And it'll grow on some people's trees, but not on others. But I get the impression that you could purchase this and, and have it, you know, it's kind of like a plant type, mm -hmm. you know, that you can grow. So this is called Pele's hair here in Hawaii. Oh, Pele's hair. Okay. Pele's hair. And uh, you can certainly put it on any tree and it just starts to go. Mm -hmm. uh, now these guys though are air plants uh, and we okay. are also selling air plants. Our, what's cool about if you come to our retail tent, you'll see quite the variety of uh, not just indoor plants, but cool little gifts and um, outdoor uh, landscaping stuff. 
and we're also servicing landscape companies mm. who maybe want like um, dwarf lowai, which is something that's more of a ground covering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that's another component to our company that mm -hmm. is now, up. People can see pictures of this on your website, right? Mm -hmm. Everything can be on our website. And Anything new will be on our website, yes. And that website, what is the name, uh, what is the address for that website? PlantHawaii.com. Okay. Very simple. So it's dot .com. There it is. And it's there. up on the screen right yes. now. Mm -hmm. uh, and if people were to go there, they'll be able to go through the, the different pages of the website and Absolutely. see all these different pictures of, of different things that you yes. have. Yes, they will be able to see all the different components. Right. Mm -hmm. And will it also, and I, I kind of know the answer to this, but it'll also tell people how to get to where you're you're at in yes, Waimanalo. Yes, we're deep in Waimanalo. Deep, deep <laughs> in the mountains in the jungle of Waimanalo. Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, we on Saturdays we actually put out signs and all you have to do is follow those signs. Otherwise call us, you'll get lost maybe once or twice. <laughs> call us again. <laughs> now we do have a sign out front and it's it's not that hard. Well is it, it's in today's world I guess it would be on Google Maps, so it is on a, Google Maps. An address, okay. of course, if you could follow the, Maps, yes. uh, the, mm -hmm. the GPS. Yes, mm -hmm. follow the right. GPS. So that's, I think of the days when we didn't have that. I, I know. <laughs> so we, we can find it once we get the address, which is also on the website. Then they can plug that in and then just follow the the, the trail out there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then once you get out there, there's parking, and then there's a uh, florist that you could buy flowers, and then there's a gift shop or something like that? It's, it's, we call it more of a garden center. Our florist is only when we have weddings. We don't have a florist per se. Okay. What's unique about our nursery is that we are able to grow most of the things that you will use in our weddings, like mm -hmm. a lot of the greenery and... And um, Yeah, we take it from right from our cuttings. We'll, we, okay. When we grow these, they spike about once a year in the winter time, and then we'll just use some of the flower arrangements in our weddings themselves. Good. Yeah. And can you order and have these things shipped? So, for example, I know a lot of people that live in Vegas, you know, for example, and they like getting some of these flowers and oh, these absolutely. arrangements from Hawaii, you know, mm -hmm. for certain occasions. Mm -hmm. um, how can that work? Is absolutely. there a way to do that online? We're a certified nursery. So, which means we grow in a soilless media, which we can ship to the mainland at that point. It would be our hibiscus and our orchids. Okay, so the orchids and the hibiscus, they can be shipped mm -hmm. anywhere to the mainland. Mm -hmm. um, and how would somebody go about doing that? Would they call you or would, could they go on mm -hmm. the website and order something? They or can how does that email work? us um, and probably better to actually communicate with us so that we can help them to figure out what's best at what season. Right. to send and so forth, and where they're sending it, so we'll guide them. Uh, so it, it is better if you have an actual communication through email or phone call. Right, that way there's no mistakes. You gotta, that's you right, know, that's right. You don't want to mess you know, with disconnect. mom's flowers, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And how long does it usually take, you know, to, for example, just to get to here to Vegas? I mean, is it an overnight two days. thing? Yeah, or? pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, two days or overnight. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Now, can these plants, are they just for the visual enjoyment, or can they actually plant them and try to grow them in Vegas? Because there's a lot of people over there, you know, that's got the greenhouses, and they try to do some of this stuff. We'll let Molly sure. tackle that one. Temperature-controlled environments, yes. Okay. So I know it gets cold in the desert even, and it, a lot of times oh. the tropicals, yeah, they won't. Well, won't let me tell you, Mike, I had a house over there for a while, and I still have some property there, and it snows. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So it does, it does get right. cold, and mm -hmm. it get, matter of fact, it doesn't snow a lot, but when it does, the snow accumulates on some of the, the pine trees, oh, and mm -hmm. the pine trees aren't strong enough to sure. hold the snow, and so the limbs break. Oh. So you actually have to go out in the oh, middle wow. of the snowstorm and shake your trees <laughs> so it doesn't why, break the limbs off. This is why I live in tropical weather. Yeah, uh, me too. And, and by the way, orchids um, don't need soil. They are uh, mm. kind of an air plant. So it's actually easier to control them. Um, they can pretty much live anywhere. They can live inside the house then. Inside, yes. yes which yeah. is very nice. Which and is definitely climate controlled. Yeah. And one of the orchids we have, which we can bring today, because it only blooms in March, it's very special to Hawaii. It's called a honohono. And it's uh, long strands, very, very scented, floral. Um, so we carry those too. Those are seasonal for March. Very seasonal. April, March, April. And so what... What are the, some of the events that you can do for, you know, provide floral arrangements for you? We talked about weddings, birthdays, obviously, holidays, Valentine's Day, maybe? You know, pretty much anything, to be honest with you. Uh, we, we have minimums on certain things, or mm -hmm. uh, there is some rules attached. You'll have all of that on our website. Um, but we have done events at the Hilton 
that are over the top events mm. for a company. Those are big. Yeah, yeah that yeah. wants a wall, live wall of all kinds of stuff. Uh, our weddings are very like custom and beautiful. We're very blessed to have, my husband is an artist and we call him the resident artist. And he has built all of our arches, which oh. are really unique. In fact, at the wedding expo, we won for best booth with uh, his amazing um, circular arch that he made. So he's wow. able to make custom live walls, uh, custom um, baskets. Um, he's so a talented guy. Very talented. So that's that's a cool component to have, is that he can build you a bar for your wedding if that's what you'd like. You wow. Know? Yeah. Wow, it sounds you're you're almost into that event planning type of role. We have uh, people we partner up with to help us with that. Absolutely, yeah. That's right. And shoots, I, I would imagine when uh, graduation comes around, there's a lot of opportunity there. You know, with uh, oh, that's more homegrown. Oh, yeah. They're more like we got it. Oh, really? oh okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I was. If I was going to be bringing a plant over to a young lady that I wanted to take to the prom or something, I don't think I'd grow it myself. Yes, come to Red <laughs> Boy. We will provide you the nice <laughs> plant for the nice lady. There you Absolutely. Go. All right. Well, we're going to be wrapping up here. Um, anything to look forward to for the, the, the winter? Um, anything that the, for Christmas or for New Year's that's oh, yeah. traditional that mm -hmm. you've got that people should come out and take a look at? Well, we've had our temp diff. So, which means all of our orchids are in bloom now, ah. especially our Phalaenopsis. Mm -hmm. And they're going to stay that way for how long? Mm -hmm. They last up to three months. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so you got to get the out there and lasting. look at this. Right now, yeah. it's probably one of the most beautiful times to come out and take a look at this. Yeah, on Saturday is a big sale because we have Thanksgiving coming up, and we have plants that you can use on your mantle, on centerpieces, and Good. yeah, so that is coming up. And what's that website again? PlantHawaii.com. That's easy to remember. That's All right. right. Yeah. Very good. Well, we've kind of run out of time. Um, you know, maybe next year we'll have a chance to come back and talk again when you're back in bloom. We've got some other things going on. That would and, be lovely, Reg. Um, but Thanks. thank you for being on the show. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. having us. Yes, this you. is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 uh, from the Pioneer Plaza in downtown Honolulu in the Think Tech studios. Thank you to the floor technicians and our producers. Uh, they always do a great job. Uh, until next week, aloha.